What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm on my job. I got a chance to vlog with some passengers who are not coming initially from our country. I'll be entering their room. I just requested them, you guys, can I make a vlog with you? And they said, yes, you can. My name is Yusuf. I'll come into my YouTube channel. I'm a young YouTuber, but I always find people who want to talk to me. As I'm conducting my lessons of helping young YouTubers grow their channels, I'm also making vlogs so that people can know me, people can know where I'm coming from, people can know what I do, so I will come in. You, be, you guys, can I come in please? Okay, I came with my cameraman. He's going to stay standing so that he can have the view of all of us. Okay, my name is Yusuf guys. As I passed by, I requested to come and make a vlog with you. So I'm conducting a YouTube channel and I'm using the platform of YouTube as an asset and when I was at school I decided let me set up something that will remain as an asset. It is one year old and I'm looking for people to vlog with, people who are used to internet, people who are not afraid of internet and that's why I talked to you. In my country people are afraid of the camera. You cannot hang out the camera like that without the serious permission people are not afraid people are afraid of the camera people have nothing to talk to the camera so when i saw you i say can't i talk to these guys and make some vlog with them to ask them something compare my country with their country so i'll be asking you your names i'll be comparing your country with my country things in your country around 15 minutes because our mobile data is very high i cannot make a very long video that i will not be able to upload or be able to show the people to the world so i'll begin with my sister here what's your name Anna. She's Anna. My brother here. My name is Gustav. My name is Gustav. And you, madam? Amelie. Amelie. And you? I'm Matthias. So I met Anna and Matthias and their two sisters. So I'll be asking them where they came from. And literally, they told me before that they come from Denmark. But I want them to tell them, I want them to tell to my viewers where they exactly came from so that you can really hear from them. What, Anna, where do, you, where do you come from? Tell my viewers or my subscribers. Yes. I'm Anna. I come from maybe this place of Denmark. I'm doing this for my living. I want my subscribers to get the view that this person, okay, he's at work, but yeah. he has a, an extra hustle that he's not taking his time. It's just like an enjoyment. Yes. What you're doing, I'm just nervous because being on camera and being a presenter is something people go at school to do. But I do it for passion. And I post my videos, vlogging my life, talking about things that I believe in. But literally, I was trying to talk to the algorithm of the YouTube to try to analyze my work. What is this person trying to do? I'm trying to vlog my life and teach young YouTubers how they can grow their ch channels because I'm also growing up my channel. So I like to give you an opportunity, Anna, to talk to my viewers. What is your name? Where, where do you come from? What are you doing for your living? And I will ask you some questions about your country compared with my country. Yes, you're welcome. Well, Handle the camera, the thank microphone yourself. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you're welcome. Well, my name is Anna, yes. and uh, I come from Copenhagen inside Denmark, a small country in Europe. Uh, I'm a student at Copenhagen University, uh, together with my friends here. Um, we are all medical students, and uh, we were traveling in Tanzania. Uh, as a part of our university course and now we're traveling around to see the beautiful country thank you very much my friends you just heard from my sister Anne and she's very precise she's just told us she's a medical student and uh, I will ask her questions about medicine though I'm not a medical specialist and the, at the end of the video so what I'm just interested in in these people I just want them to introduce themselves to me I just want them to make me get used to the camera I just want them to advise me something to get precise on my YouTube channel because when you meet people like these people who have exposure people who are really coming from outside they really teach you something other people that I've been talking to I've just been making photos with them I never requested to make any video with them but these ones they are the first people from Denmark. I have friends from France. I've, I've met friends from Germany, but I never made any video with them. I just had photos with them. But these ones are just like people I've seen. Let me begin my life with them. So my brother, just tell my viewers um, you, where you're coming from. What are you doing? 
I'll ask you questions from that introduction you give me. Like as I told you, I'll ask Anna one question just about medical, and we'll just be moving on. Welcome to Tanzania, first of all. Thank you. Uh, so yes, my name was Gustav. Uh, I come from Copenhagen in Denmark. Uh, I live with Anna actually, and I also go to University of Copenhagen and study medicine. And uh, for fun, I like to play football and other sports as well. Um, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we do in Denmark. <laughs> um, do you have any other questions? I don't have any other questions for you, but you told me you like playing football. I'll just ask you straight, which number do you play and which artist, which footballer, international footballer, do you like, do you love? Because we are also football fans in Tanzania. We are growing our football at very fast. Very fa yani our football is growing at a very high speed. So I'm interested in asking you straight forward, which number do you play in football and which superstar in football worldwide do you prefer? Uh, usually I play in number 13 because that's the number I always played with when I was younger. And uh, my favorite footballer is Lionel Messi. Yes, we had the Barcelona fan here, fans, you have Lionel Messi's brother here. So it's quite interesting, as the video is going on, I feel my heart temperature is going down and I'm getting used to these people. I wish my country had high internet speed, I would have made a long video, but according to our country, if you make long videos and you're a young YouTuber, you'll take long to upload them, you won't have time to edit them. And as you know, YouTube is not my full-time hustle. So you people will just be short and precise. I have a lot to ask them, but I will be short and precise and not make them bored because they have traveled a long journey and I'm not supposed to harass them. So, madam, you're welcome. Yes. <clears throat> uh, I am Emily and uh, I live in Copenhagen as the other four and uh, study medicine with the three other guys. And uh, we have been here for two months now in uh, Tanzania on a clinical stay with the university. Um, and now we're just, yeah, traveling around to explore the country. Thank you very much. They are all students, three of them as I've talked to them. As, as I've talked to three of them, they are all students. So we are going basically to ask a question that is going to be helping other students in our country according to what they are studying. What should be their vision? That's where I, I think I will focus on because I've not had any of them being a YouTuber as I'm doing my work on YouTube. I'm trying to study from big YouTubers, translating the knowledge to my young YouTubers here in Africa. So if I ask a question concerning YouTube to these people, I'll be a little bit giving them headache. I must ask something that they have really exposed to me. And let me ask my brother, you're welcome. What's your name? Where are you coming from? And welcome in Tanzania. How long have you been in Tanzania? Thank you. Uh, I've been here two months like uh, Anna and Emily has. Uh, Gustav joined us a bit later. He came here like a week ago. Um, but I've been here two months uh, and I've been staying in Tanga uh, at, uh, at Bumble Hospital. Uh, the other guys were in Karobwe, um working at a smaller hospital. You guys, I'm super excited. You guys have a small hospital side? Did I hear it yeah. well? You have a small hospital con co conducting it in Karobwe? Yes. Okay. Okay. Makunga Hospital in Karobwe. I'm super excited you guys to hear that these people have a special hustle in our country. They have a small hospital conducting in Koroga called Makunga. No, we were working in Makunga. You are working in Makunga as students. Okay. okay, I thought you owned that place. Okay, you are exchanging knowledge. You are exchanging knowledge. You people, we are proud of you. Personally, I'm proud of you and I'm um, thanking you a lot. And uh, let this be a simple call to my countrymen. You know, you people in our country, you are always afraid of the camera. You don't want people to talk to you. Others, you got professions, you are doctors, you are nurses. But when you meet people to interrogate with you, you don't give them heart. These people are not my brothers. These people actually, even we are not the same skin color, but they just welcomed me. They, they, they actually paid for the whole room. We are not allowed even to be here. But these people said no. I just spoke a simple statement. You people, can I make a vlog with you? They even understand that simple English. But when you talk to my countrymen, you must give 
a lot of explanation so you guys thank you very much for being with me i just want to ask a very simple question that everyone will answer what is the biggest challenge of medical assistance that you have seen in my country so far so being because you are doctors you are your are future nurses what is the best challenge you're seeing in our country as far as the health sector is concerned because i have also a young sister con conducting healthy studies i hope she will get to see this video and she will get this challenge straight from here you're welcome madam Anne. um the the biggest challenge is probably the lack of money here uh, but uh, people have a very good spirit and uh, everyone wants to help each other so it's very nice to see we're very happy to learn this from Tanzanian people to help each other all the time thank you very much so when I was conducting my job I found Madam Anna she's the leader here she's the one who is leading this group so let me make a very be short and thank these people very much you people as i told you this is my first time asking people to make a vlog with them they're all my brothers and all my relatives so let me make it short i have very many questions to ask as a young youtuber but let me end to this girl here let me end to this madam to represent all of them i've just known them i've talked to them they are doctors they are future doctors they are future people will be saving lives so when i try to ask among this the the, the, the biggest challenge that they are first they are seeing in tanzania everybody has the heart to help everybody is willing to to assist but there is lack of money you people let's continue working let's continue giving heart let's have side hustles where we have main hustles let's not focus on giving our hearts to one job because we have a lot to pay for we have a lot to cover so let's learn from these people these people actually you might find they are working as doctors they are studying to be doctors but they have side hustles i won't ask their side hustles but i understand these people have side hustles so you people say bye to my viewers i have a very small channel going by the name of you comes I just changed the name because I did not. F I was first using my name as mm. Yusuf Media, oh. and changed it to Ucoms because I'm finding a brand name that will be selling, that will be easy in people's names. So when I use Yusuf, people, what is Yusuf doing? What is, what does Yusuf mean? This is a name, just a name. So I decided to turn this to my Instagram name to be also my YouTube name. So I'm now operating as Ucoms on my youtube channel so what i just want to do i just want to go slow learn these people on youtube are creating good thumbnails they are creating good titles they are looking for the best time to upload i'm learning so when i begin posting my work it will be very, very fantastic mm -hmm. like you people as i've made a short interview with you i just want to take a photo with you take my time make a good thumbnail make a very good title and upload my work you people i just want you to say bye to my viewers thank you for making this happen I love you very much and God is going to be with us. You're thank welcome. You. Asante Sana. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Asante Sana. Asante. They know Asante Sana. I don't know if they know other words. But you people guys, thank you very much. Thank you, you guy who has just holded the camera for me. God bless you, Petronade. God bless you. Thank you for being here. I just wish that you people understood our hearts in Africa. What we wish to be, what we wish to we wish to interrogate with you just like as youtube works youtube works with subscription youtube works with comment youtube works with leaving a comment you bro i just had your english try to do this you brother i just saw your video try to do this i'll be very grateful thank you see you in another video